Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Radiology 12. I uh, just quickly wanted to say thank you guys for all the support. And just want to announce that I will be posting EHR or like insurance healthcare content soon. So, yeah, just stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's get right into radiology number 12. Um, we're going to go to the pretty similar baseline as what we've been doing these past videos, mostly focusing on case studies. And yeah, again, I always do this, but um, just to review uh, the gradient colors between the air bone, tissue, and muscle. And always remember our orientation, which is going to be marked by R and L, and that's going to represent the patient's direction, uh, anatomically, of course. And yeah. And like I said before, we're going to be a case study. Um, this time it's going to be slightly different. Uh, we're not going to be strictly focusing on understanding what the cause is or um, what the symptoms may be or anything like that. Instead, we'll be focused more on the concept of gradient color and how it can help us identify a difference. So this is a little bit different than what you might be used to. Um, this time we have two pictures side by side. Uh, one picture in the right, we can see the lungs clearly aerated, we can see their um, outline drawn out, we can see the heart correctly, we can see all the gradients matching up, everything looks fine, as much as we can say. And on the left one, we can see um, the heart being slightly larger, angle is a little bit different, it's not a perfect x-ray of course, but um, we can kind of see a part of the bone. Um, you can also see a less aerated tissue, and it's overall just less dense than the one the right. And we can identify this based on our gradient. If we look at the left, we can see that the lungs are a grayish color, where they're not really black in a sense. And that tells us that there's not enough concentration of tissue and lung tissue in that area, indicating that something may have happened to cause this to happen. We can also see uh, a part of the lung. Um, it's not labeled for us, but it's the one that I'm looking at towards the right. And we can see a part of that kind of not outlined, and it's kind of just white instead of supposed to be gray. And that indicates that a part of that lung has basically collapsed or kind of died. And what we could say about this is that pretty much that there are like decreased the blood vessels as they become smaller, and that increases the vascular markings present in the lungs and the heart and everything. And it's much harder to identify the differences, showing us that it's a more convoluted image with many problems to identify and solve. All right, thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.